This brings to a conclusion this session, and uh, I think we'll go from here to the felicitations uh, event. So, Jay Gurdev. Now it's my great joy to invite Dr. Rainer Pichel to come and present the facilitations to the awardees. The awards will be given by the International Maharshi Ayurveda Foundation. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Lothar Pietz. So maybe the awardees could proceed to the stage and uh, we would start with uh, Ashtya Vaidya Mostivakaran who is chairman and chief physician at the Ashtavaidian Daikatu Mos Atma Ayurveda Hospital in Trisur, Kerala, India. And since almost 30 years, he is also chief consulting physician of the Mahashi European Research University. And throughout these many years, he has been closely working with Mahashi Mahesh Yogi. So please come to the stage and accept that felicitation. <laughs> Next individual is Vaidya Dr. Manaha Palakurti. Unfortunately, due to visa reasons, he was not able to come, but uh, he's very active in Japan and we will have another individual to be felicitated from Japan, Dr. Yokoha Ruiko, so maybe you could accept for Manoha. Manoha, she has been really fully absorbing all of Mahashi's teaching in consciousness-based medicine, and he is an educator and curriculum, uh, chief uh, curriculum consultant for the Mahashi College of Perfect Health the Netherlands, and also uh, the Mahasya Veda Association of America. And Dr. Manoha has continuously traveled throughout the world to teach and give consultations to spread Mahasya's health programs. Dr. Yoka Haruiko from Japan, he is uh, presently president of the Mahasya Global Trading for World Peace in Japan, which handles the public recognition of Mahasya Veda in Japan. And Yoka san is also the chief organizer for all of Mahasya Ayurveda health programs in Japan, very successfully, including the training of so many physicians, translating all materials, and opening the market in Japan for Ayurveda herbal products. So please accept the presentation. <laughs> Next is Dr. Keith Wallace, who is recognized as the pioneering researcher in neurophysiology of higher states of consciousness. His research has been published in many journals, including Scientific American and the American Journal of Physiology. Dr. Wallace is the author of the Neurophysiology of Enlightenment and the Physiology of Consciousness. He has lectured extensively in over 50 countries around the world. He is founding president of Marsh University of Management USA Chair of the Department of Physiology and Health and Dean of Mahashi College of Perfect Health, USA. So it's my joy. <laughs> Next, I'd like to invite Dr. Sophie Bell from France. And he, she's a family doctor and specialized in pediatrics. And since more than 30 years, she is full-time focused on Mahasya Ayurveda. Dr. Bell has been teaching Mahasya Ayurveda throughout Europe and is presently director of the Mahasya Ayurveda Health Center, Salisburg in Switzerland. So welcome, Dr. Bell. Now there's one more person to be felicitated and that will be performed by Professor Anade for the international Academy of Ayurveda. From the International Academy of Ayurveda, I would like to invite Professor Norbert Lotz, founder of First Institute Frankfurt. He is an uh, Ayurveda lover, has written two books on Ayurveda, and they have been translated into Italian and uh, Polish languages. Professor Norbert Lotz, please. So now we are coming to our concluding remarks. 
from Latin America. There is some official endorsement from some high government officials from different countries. And I would like to ask Dr. Bevan Morris, president of Maharshi University of Management, to read to us these endorsements. Dr. Jose Luis Alvarez has passed this message on and it comes from a new alliance to create Maharshi Ayurved in all the Latin American countries. So this is the message directed to the International Congress of Ayurved in Roermond in the Netherlands. We, the undersigned health ministers and other leaders in the field of public health of Latin America, would like to ex express our congratulation to all the organizers and delegates of the International Ayurved Congress promoting time-tested, scientifically verified solutions for the health problems of our time. Ayurved for global health. In this context, it is our joy to launch an alliance for collaboration in the promotion of Ayurveda within 21 governments of Latin America and the Caribbean, as well as Mozambique and Angola. So Ayurveda becomes an official health system within the public health care for primary as well as for hospital health care. Specifically, our ministers and parliaments in our countries will promote a differentiated law so that Ayurveda, especially Ayurvedic medicines, have their own system of registration, of course scientifically tested, but not within the standards of the allopathic medicine. In the same way that we have already accomplished with Chinese medicine in Brazil, Mexico, and other Latin American countries. We especially recommend and support Maharshi Ayurved as the values of consciousness are extremely important for the health of the collective consciousness, elimination of violence, and increasing the well-being of individuals through transcendental meditation, and the creation of the Maharshi effect, the field effect of consciousness. We will be in collaboration with the International Maharshi Ayurved Foundation and with the support of the All India Ayurveda Congress and International Academy of Ayurveda, we will request the support of the Minister of Ayush of India so that these laws and collaboration gain the support of all the countries of Latin America. We will invite a delegation from these organizations and the government of India to visit the countries of Latin America and the Caribbean as soon as possible. We will be promoting those laws and activities in our countries. And we think that Brasilia in Brazil, where Maharshi Mahesh Yogi launched in 1985, an international congress for natural medicine could be an ideal venue for the next international Ayurveda congress. And, and we will endeavor all our efforts to support it. We congratulate all the delegates, vajas, <clears throat> health practitioners, and interested participants in this conference, as well as we give our great congratulations to Padma Bhushan Vaidya Devendra Triguna, President of All India Ayurveda Congress, and Professor Subhash Ramade, Chairman of International Academy of Ayurveda, Dr. Raina Pisha, 
chairman of the International Maharshi Ayurved Foundation, all the speakers, and our very special greeting to Dr. Tony Nader Maharaj Adiraj Rajaram. All wishes for great success. And it's signed by Dr. Jose Saraiva Felipe, the former Minister of Health of Brazil, and the President of the Health Committee of the Congress of Brazil, meaning the Parliament of Brazil, and leader of the government party in the Congress of Brazil. And he is now Secretary General of the Alliance for Ayurved of the Ministers of Health of Latin America and the Health Committees of the Parliaments of each Parliament in Latin America. Also signed by Dr. Renice Franco de Sá, de Sá, the Director of Public Health of Brazil, Dr. Maria Teresa Siles, former Minister of Health of Bolivia, Dr. Carlo Freitas, the Health Secretary of Brazil, and Dr. Susie Camilia Romer, the Minister in the Government of Curaçao and former Prime Minister of Curaçao, and <clears throat> Dr. Saraiva Felipe, I uh, wanted to also have everyone know this. He is the first signatory, the former health minister of Brazil. He says, I remember when visiting the health ministry in Ayurved in India, I had the great opportunity to meet Maharshi Mahesh Yogi and learn transcendental meditation personally from him, which I am very grateful for. So this is the message. <clears throat> The message from the Alliance for Collaboration in the Promotion of Ayurved within all the governments of Latin America and the Caribbean, as well as two of the Portuguese-speaking countries in Africa, Mozambique and Angola. Jay Gurudev. Thank you very much. Dr. Bevan Morris for reading this so beautifully and this is really so inspiring for all of us and I think we will really create a disease-free society with this government support, maybe starting in Latin America. Thank you so much. I would like now the dignitaries who opened the conference to come to the stage again for the conclusion. Uh, I would like to start with Dr. Rainer Picher, if you could please start with your concluding remarks, yes. Thank you, Mr. Bietz. Yeah, my conclusion is that this was really a great assembly of the wishes of Ayurveda, the Nova of Ayurveda, that had come, have come from USA and Europe and India and Asia. And uh, it's a wonderful feeling. Uh, we heard so many great contributions from all aspects of Ayurveda and from the point of view of the International Marshall Wade Foundation and the uh, Congress, uh, we feel that we could share Mahashi's knowledge on a greater scale throughout the world and we just hope that Mahashi's knowledge will spread to uh, implement the vision that Mahashi gave us and the task and that is nothing else than to create a disease-free society. And we feel with this knowledge, this should be possible. And uh, just uh, what we have heard from Prime Minister and from Brazil is such wonderful news. And I think this is already the first result of this gathering that the parliament on such a high level gives such a great endorsement and openings new channel for Maharsha Veda and Ayurveda in general to spread. And we also have just met uh, amongst the three organizing organization, which is besides the International Mashavid um, Foundation, the uh, uh, All India Ayurveda Congress, and the International Academy of Ayurveda. And we just resolved that we will hold this uh, Congress together 
every other year, every second year. And I think with the invitation from Brazil, this comes very nicely together. And we would be most happy to uh, go to Brazil in due time. And another resolution that we have resolved today is that we have created the Mahashi Mahash Yogi Danvantari Award that we will award to two individuals at each of these congresses that we hold every other year. One of them will be from India and one outside of India. So these are just the first uh, great news that came out from this congress and I think we can look forward to a world that is healthier. Jay Gurudev. Thank you, Dr. Rainer Pisha. Now it's my joy to ask Professor Dr. Subhash Ranade to give his feedback, his conclusion from this conference. Well, we are at the end of uh, our uh, valedictory function and as the chairman of International Academy of Ayurveda, I must uh, explain that the largest contingent of Vaidyas were from International Academy of Ayurveda from India. <clears throat> We were given excellent hospitality by the Maharshi Ayurveda and all the team members and I must uh, compliment, give my compliments to Girish Ji. <laughs> Round of applause. <laughs> I am aware of the complaints of all the paper presenters and keynote speakers as well that the time constraint was too much. And then I told them, don't worry, even the president of uh, International Academy of Ayurveda was asked to reduce his speech by 50%. Mm -hmm. So you should be happy <laughs> <laughs> that you were, you were allowed uh, reduction of time only by two minutes. Anyway, next time we will make it sure that those people who are traveling from such a long distance and come here to present their uh, research papers, will get their uh, sufficient time so that uh, they are satisfied and the delegates also are satisfied. So we'll make this mistake uh, uh, properly next conference. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now I would like to invite Padma Bhushan Devendra Trigunaji to give his conclusion from this conference. Doctor. John Heglin ji, Manoj Nesri ji, Bevan Morris ji, Girish Mamaya ji, Dr. Walter, Dr. Reiner, Professor Subhash Ranade ji and Dr. Lothar and all the dignities and all the doctors coming from all over the world, India, Asia and from all over the part of the world. It's, it's the first kind of this conference. Now we are holding this here in this holy place. It just is starting. But all these conferences that we are now will hold, either in Brazil or there is a proposal from England and other places also, after every two years, these conferences will have more and more peoples and we will have tried to improve more and more in every in each conference. The quality of papers will also improve and we will have more scientists, more uh, peoples on this our conference. I'm happy that Government of India has sent a big delegation, our, our secretary, our advisor and our uh, also a, a big scholar from, from India, from Hyderabad. They have participated in this conference and uh, next time we will also try that our Minister of Ayush should also participate in this so that and also from that country which the conference is holding, those peoples, the, uh, yes. uh, the health peoples of that country, the ambassador, yes. the health minister of the health official should also be with us in the conference, also from the WHO, so we will try for that. We are very happy that the inauguration was inaugurated by Dr. Tony Nader, the great scientist, Raja Dhiraj, who has then a great research on Maharshi Amrit Kalash and then also the, with the Maharshi's blessing as guidance, he has written a lot of books on that. 
So he was quite fortunate that he inaugurated this conference and also then he has taken initiation for taking this award. The modalities of the award will be finalized afterwards. And we have also requested that from this conference we should pass some resolutions also for the Indian government and for the different countries that what are the difficulties are coming to promote and practice Ayurveda in the different part of the world so that from the government of India we should try and we should write down for the different countries which are the difficulties coming in making the medicines or it as a, as a system of medicine. We should have chairs in the different part of countries. Our advisor, government of India, Dr. Manoj Risi was saying that we are trying to open a chair in Germany, in France, and, and also we had a big discussion with the government of FDA from the US government. And shortly we will have a uh, good uh, thing will come out in America and we'll have a good uh, either university or a Ivy the college there. So these things are coming. Our department which the new ministry has made because our prime minister of India, Dr. Shri Narendra Modi ji, is very much interested in yoga and Ayurveda. He has already, with his efforts, the Yoga Day has going to be celebrated on the 21st of June all over the world. And with his efforts, our ministry has been made in government of India. And now the ministry is promoting a lot. In India, I will say that with the help of All India with Congress, we had a uh, All India Institute of Ayurveda now in Delhi is going to be inaugurated very soon. It's a very big hospital and the Panchkarma Center and Kaya Kalkuti. It's going to be open in a couple of months. Then we have other different things are coming all over India. So we are trying from All India with Congress and with the blessing of Maharshi Ji that to spread this knowledge of Ayurveda not in India but all over the world so that we should have a one family and the main thing is that it's a disease free society which Maharshi has said. That's the main goal. So once again I thank especially Girish Ji with his efforts he has made this thing in the reality in such a holy place and all the efforts that he has done has the fruit has come on and anything small things it can be looked after it should not be looked on like that so again after the with my from the heart from the bottom of my heart i thanks maharshi international this conference to a great success thank you thank you very much for your warm wishes in support dr triguna and now I would like to ask Dr. John Hegelin to summarize the conclusion. Thank you very much. It is an awesome honor for me to be seated at this dais and to be amidst amongst this, this incredible conference with some of the core leaders, the core leaders, the greatest exponents, the greatest experts in the greatest system of medicine on earth, Ayurvedic medicine. It's incredible to me how packed this conference has been in two short days with so much knowledge that has been practically unabsorbable. But it, it inspires me and from someone who didn't really grow up with Ayurvedic medicine, let alone Maharshi Ayurvedic medicine, how much this system has to offer compared to any system in the world. Even through the window of physics, I see this as the main system of medicine in the world with supplementary help from modern contributions and surgical and so forth that come from modern allopathic medicine. But this has the depth. This wisdom is grounded in the universal, most fundamental, most modern, most cutting edge understanding of the universe. This week, the enormous particle accelerator nearby at CERN turned on again to run for four more years at twice the energy it ran last time. And the purpose of this machine is to confirm really the scientific truth of the unity of life, the scientific confirmation of the unified field. And when that happens to a degree of confidence that has not been possible yet so far in the laboratory, the unified field and the unity of life will be an absolute household word throughout the world. And everybody will have the foundation, the deep foundation in knowledge where the wholeness and completeness 
an Atma-based system of education, of, of medicine, which is Ayurvedic medicine, will make sense to everybody. So they say, Satyame Vajayate, truth ultimately triumphs. And we have the effects, we have the theory, we have the age-old wisdom and time-tested knowledge of perfect health and of life itself in this system. I'm very, very grateful for all the tremendous expertise and generosity that our guests from India have brought to this conference and also those from all over the world. I'm very grateful to the Vedic families and the Vedic traditions who have maintained diligently the integrity of this wisdom for countless generations, countless generations. I'm grateful, of course, to Maharshi Mahesh Yogi who revitalized this knowledge by showing to the whole world its wholeness, its completeness, its power to create a disease-free society. So I'm also grateful to the great uh, Tony Nader, MD, PhD, who Maharshi, of course, christened or called the Maharaj Adiraj Rajaram for his incredibly brilliant continuing research in Ayurveda, establishing it as the deepest core wisdom of health in such a deeply profound and practical way. So I want to just thank everybody who has made this, this Congress a reality, Dr. Lothar Pirk and the great three presidents who have already been honored. The honoree himself needs to be honored. Lothar has done an amazing work along with Girishji and so many others who will be properly thanked now. So I think a fitting end to this conference would be a brief expression of gratitude to those heroes, both sung and unsung, who have made this really such a great success. Thank you, Thank you so much for your great words. I would like to request Dr. Bevan Morris to see if there is still anything that he would like to add to the conclusions so far. I think in these two days we have experienced the following. That first, His Holiness Maharshi Mahesh Yogi brought Ayurveda to the world as never before and brought it into contact with the top medical doctors and scientists of the Western world. And he brought it out in its completeness, not as herbal medicine, but as unified field-based medicine, medicine based in consciousness, infinite consciousness, in Atma itself. So that fundamental to the health of the world is yoga, not yoga asanas only, but yoga meaning the practice of transcendental meditation and the city's program and yogic flying. And every Vaidya in the world should practice those techniques and offer them to their patients as an essential part of the treatment that they receive. That house and office according to Stapatyaved, Vastu Vidya, should be facing east, both for doctor and patient. That prevention of disease is the call of Ayurveda in the world. And it has the system to prevent all disease and create a disease-free society. We've heard of the spread of the fame of Ayurveda around the world and in the increasing educational opportunities for people to be trained in Ayurveda, for example, in the new master's de degree of Maharshi Ayurveda in Integrative Medicine at Maharshi University of Management, which is online. We've heard that science is more and more admitting its own failures, its own hazards and dangers. And simultaneously we heard that modern science is actually, sometimes unknowingly, confirming ancient principles about, for example, as we heard, chronotherapeutics, living life according to proper daily and seasonal routine, and also about digestion, 
the gastrointestinal tract, importance in a wide variety of diseases, always pointed out in Ayurvedic tradition, now understood by modern medicine, and wrong lifestyle as a cause of disease, and therefore right lifestyle and right behavior as a cause of health. We have seen so many excellent scientific papers on the different uh, illnesses that are being relieved through the different Maharshi Ayurveda uh, preparations, herbal preparations, including even arthritis. We saw in the example from our great professor from Berlin, but so many different diseases. Also from the University of Tübingen, the prevention uh, very possibly of the need for insulin through herbal preparations that uh, have been studied, the Salai Grugal, but so many herbal preparations that are adding to the world's natural methods, side effect free methods of relieving chronic illnesses otherwise thought to be impossible to relieve. And we have found also that there is a need expressed by our scientists for more evidence, scientific evidence, especially in Western countries, on the effectiveness of Ayurveda, because that is required by the Western medical scientists to see it published in distinguished medical journals, Western medical journals, these results. And this also has been pointed out to be a, a delicate uh, area because in doing research, the scientists should not sabotage the holistic nature of Ayurvedic programs and treatments. They have to respect that as they perform the research. We have seen also the extraordinary fulfillment of Maharshi's statement that there would be seen to be changes even at the level of the gene through the experience of higher states of consciousness. And those, as we heard, are particular changes that express a decrease of inflammation and improvement of immune function, very fundamental strengthening and reversal of aging that comes when the transcendental field of consciousness which is lively with the Ved, becomes directly experienced as part of the Ayurvedic treatments. We've heard the importance of collective health and the findings that large groups of yogic flyers can change the health even of a giant nation like the United States and changing in the decrease of crime and accidents and diseases and infant mortality just by stimulating the basic field of creation, the field of Atma. And this collective health is a great gift that Ayurveda is giving to the world. We heard of Vedic psychiatry that is there in the scriptures itself, being laid out very clearly how it is possible from the level of the speech, on the level of the mind, and on the level of the self, to relieve the tremendous psychiatric problems that afflict all the nations of the world, including anxiety and depression and different mental illnesses. We have seen also, and the value of personal attention has come out so well, the value of personal attention, which is a natural part of the way that Avidya treats their patients as compared to allopathic doctors in the, the five minute and out the door system of modern medicine. We've also heard the greatness of the Ashtavaija tradition of Kerala, and we've been so proud to hear of that tradition maintained over the long history of the world that has benefited the whole world as the Ashtavaijas worked with Maharshi himself to develop Panchakarma systems of the highest level for all the world to enjoy. We've also heard the practicalities of Panchakarma in the West, all the considerations that have to be 
taken into account when offering Panchakarma to the Western clients. We have also heard a very strong admonition from a great expert in this field that as Panchakarma and other Vedic treatments are offered in the West, they should not lose their authenticity under the pressures of commercial interests, that rather they authentic systems should be maintained properly and their source in the Ved should be maintained throughout time. We've seen the dramatic effects of aroma on health. We've seen that beauty also comes from Ayurved, from within and from all the balancing of the doshas and all the purity of physiology that shines as one rises in enlightenment. We've heard of the importance of dealing with past actions that create negative disease effects, diseases, through Jyotish, as Vedic astrology, and through Maharshi Yagya, to avert dangers or stop even a danger that has already be begun. And we have received a very beautiful message from Latin America inviting this Congress to join in Brasilia and hearing that the head of the Brazilian Congress, Brazilian Parliament Health Committee, is going all out to introduce Ayurveda and Transcendental Meditation to all the health ministries of the entire Latin America and the Caribbean. So our vision as a result of this conference, a disease-free society, that was Maharshi's goal, and this con Congress has been an enormous step in that direction. Jay Gurudev. Thank you so much, Dr. Morris, for this wonderful, wonderful summary of the whole conference. And I think for all those who couldn't make it to come, just to listen to this videotape of Dr. Morris will give them a very good impression of what happened here. So this is... <laughs> so finally, I have to make some practical announcements. I want to thank in behalf of all the three organizations, all the speakers, all the paper presenters, and the delegates who have come from 50 countries, as far as Japan, a very big group from India. Um, I would also like to thank all the sponsors. Without them, this event would not have been possible. Um, I would like to mention first the Edgar Davis Foundation, Maharshi Ayurveda Products, Maharshi Ayurveda Health Centers, Salisburg and Badems, Oshadi Aroma Therapy, Ved Aroma, and also Ayur Sutra, and also Shaukamba, Sanskrit Partition. These were our sponsors for this conference. And then I would like to thank all the people behind the curtain without whom this would have not been possible. Um, in the Global Health Committee, which has worked every week for six or nine months, I would also like to thank Roger Kingsley, who has been very active in the whole setup of this conference. And I would like to thank the secretaries of this conference, Professor Jola and Christina Ziegler from Germany, who is also the secretary of the Global Health Committee. <coughs> I would like to thank all the Meru staff that have been working with Girish, so many departments, video, housing, travel, printing, website, and many more. Um, it was a big challenge. We could enter this room yesterday morning only at 6 o'clock to do all the preparations to set up the stage and video. And everybody has worked so hard to make it happen. This is really wonderful. <laughs> I'd like to thank the Mother Divine Group. They have prepared a beautiful booklet about Maharshi's contribution that you all had in your bag. And uh, I would like to thank also everybody whom I may have forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? 
they cook, yeah, cook was on it already, but we were happy to do it again. <laughs> yeah, very good food. <clears throat> and finally, I would like to thank you all again for coming. I wish you a safe travel home. And I hope we will meet at the next conference again. Thank you so much. Namaste. <laughs> very, very good.